I'm not doing anything that is not of God. Like I have to bring everything to him. I wanted to quickly introduce these makeup brushes that I'll be using by BS Mall. I've been using them for a while now. You probably heard of them on um, Amazon. Their brushes are always so soft. I want to thank them for sending me these to share with you guys. Love. And when it comes to makeup, like your brushes and your tools that you use are the most important. I don't have, I just feel like my makeup doesn't come right. And it's like, do you have the right tools, babes? As you see in the intro, I don't know if I did an intro depending on the time, but I want to explain to you guys what the Lord did when he told me that he needs me to get off Instagram for the month. And I just want to explain what came from that, that fast. And fasting is important, so I highly encourage it, whether it's from food, anything, just bring it back to the Lord and he'll let you know what he wants you to like rid of for a moment and how long for. Um, but I did post a video explaining why I deleted Instagram for the month. So make sure you watch that and then you can come back here or you can just stay here and just whatever. I will have everything that I'm using linked down below in order. So I'm not gonna really like focus too much on like explaining what I'm doing as far as the makeup, but I will definitely share with you guys in the description box what products I'm using. And if you have any questions regarding the makeup, just ask me in the comments. Yeah, so just a quick summary if you don't know i deleted instagram for the month because i was just going through this period of like okay let me just slowly start by saying like there's a lot that i want in life and i've been working towards that for some time now and just trusting and believing god for it and really just letting him use me and just guide me in whichever way he wants me to go and um long story short I came to the conclusion and he helps me realize that like I was idolizing the idea of my dreams and goals like just for example I would like look at other people's um Instagrams that I follow and just like I'm so inspired by them and I'm like oh my gosh and then I would be like oh my gosh I want that one day and then I'm just literally like just like thinking like wow like lord I really want this like just focusing much so much on the future and not really focusing on what he's doing in the now in this exact present moment so he basically told me like give it up for 30 days and i listened part of what he did was something that i wasn't even gonna like think or imagine that he would do so for one my mindset like changed like i honestly i just don't care <clears throat> about like what people think of me or i'm not putting too much pressure on like what i post or is this the post that's going to get me like you know what i mean like no like i that's not the vibe anymore my vibe is i want the lord to guide my page and do what he wants to do when it comes to my channel i mean well with everything yeah channel instagram all that all the above i'm not focusing on like the numbers and like what i see or anything i'm focusing on the impact that i have and like what he wants me to do and i've realized that like Instagram is filled with so much like at the end of the day you choose what you want to show and It's literally like the land of make-believe like you can choose what you want to show, you know, I choose what I want to show and <clears throat> when people aren't um, Really like I guess Seeking the Lord and really like if you have something that you're working towards like he needs to be Your helper like we need to do life with him and so it's so easy to like look at what someone else has and you know not saying that i did this but i'm just speaking in general terms it's so easy to like judge and just like then you start to like compare like oh my gosh comparison is just not good it's not good at all you're setting yourself up for failure when you compare because what god has planned for someone else has nothing to do with you and it's okay to look at with someone and saying like god like i see what you did for them like i would love for that for myself like you know that's fine he's like i got you but like the way he's going to give it to you may not be the way that he gave it to someone else or you may be looking at someone else and you're like wow they got it like easy like they just you know but you don't know their story you don't know where they came from you don't know what their childhood was like you don't know what it took them to get to where they are so when you're wishing and thinking like oh my gosh i wish i had what they had like i want to be like this person da, da, da. god's like uh mm, babes i don't think you want to be like them you don't know what it took for them all these people that you see they have all this stuff and guess what it probably didn't even come from god like they're a lot of the times these people aren't even they even got the lord in their life and this looks grand life is all for nothing all for nothing if you don't have 
Jesus with you. And so that's why he's make, helping me realize like, yeah, you see what this person has, but I don't know them. They don't know me type thing. You know what I mean? So that right there, he nipped that in the butt real quick. So another thing that he helps me realize, like, so that was a huge thing. And I was just so grateful for that because I'm like, you know what, Lord, you're right. Another thing that has nothing to do with Instagram. Me being off Instagram allowed me to just focus on what I just wanted to do or just let me just back up. So July 1st, actually, I decided, well, the day before I decided, like, look, I have been on this fitness weight loss journey for some time now, and I'm just not happy with myself. Like, I feel like I'm going backwards. Like, nothing's changing. I feel like I look the same, like, still feeling fluffy, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, it's time to, like, make a change. So I decided, like, I'm going to, like, go on a calorie deficit because my goal is to, like, lose fat. And I was like, I'm going to put myself on a workout plan. I even contemplated on like buying someone I saw on TikTok, like their workout program or whatever. But I was like, no, I can just figure out my own thing I'm going to do right now. And obviously there's so many videos and things for inspiration and knowledge and everything as far as like workouts and things like that. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to take this serious. Like I have to. So I went all in like food and counting my calories just all the things that was cool i was able to like concentrate and focus on that and then also like i people don't be happy for you real there's so many monitoring spirits and like the enemy like he's just like just a hater and so he works through his people they hate too you know and so i just i just needed some time to like be private and like do my own thing i was still on tiktok and youtube of course but you know what i mean i was able to focus on that and then another thing Quan started a new job well, he got like the offer or whatever for the new job position, but you know, it takes time. So he wasn't like starting right away, but it was time for us to prepare on for his new schedule and like things like that. So we knew his schedule and all. And so that allowed me to, cause I've been a stay at home mom, you know, since Kai was born or whatever. And I've been working out in the morning ever since he was born. Quan for years have been like, he's worked like later shifts, like overnight or there's sometimes where his shift will be like mid morning, like he don't go until 10. So I've always had my early mornings to like myself, my own like little time, which I think is so important. So part of my prayer, prayer even before like, um, so this is a testimony prior to me or him even getting that schedule when he realized like, oh, you know, he's gonna be like getting a new job or whatever. I was praying like, okay, Lord, like, but can my workout schedule stay the same? Like, I love my 5 a.m. workouts. Like, I just want the schedules to like align. And he definitely answered that prayer and so grateful because I'm able to like continue my workout. The only thing is like I would be spending so much time at the gym, like I'll do a workout and then I can't be doing the walk for like an hour and a half on the treadmill. Like I just don't got time for that because we got to get back because dad, I got to get up. It allowed me to figure out a gym routine that is time efficient, timely, you know what I'm trying to say? Like all that you know what i'm trying to say it just worked out as far as the time and it allowed me to figure out a routine to really like you know this is what you got to do you got to be in and out because you got to be out by six so i did that figure it out my exercises my days my little workout schedule between solid core and the gym i don't want to say little but between my workout schedule and the gym and solid core and all that stuff um that allowed me to prepare for that and then also for the last two years since Kai has been born, he's never been on a schedule, y'all. He's never been on a schedule, just never has. And, you know, we were fine. Like, it didn't really, it was nothing that ever, like, like, we're okay. You know what I mean? And not even, like, intentionally, but, like, one day I realized, I'm like, hey, the past two or three days, he's been on a schedule, before, like, for real. Like, he's been doing the same thing, like, falling asleep around the same time, getting up around the same time, and I'm like, let's just stick to this. And, you know, if you have a toddler, a baby, whatever, it is so important to have them on a schedule. Now, I stay at home, so, like, it's just more so, he tired, okay, lay him down, or, you know what I mean? But, like, he never had, like, a strict nap schedule. So, unintentionally, like, I realized, like, the Lord helped us get on a schedule. Mind you, Quan's new schedule, his new work schedule, he's gone at 7 a.m. So the, that's new to us. And so I don't, I can't just like, you know, you guys know I have the walking pad and I've been doing my thing with like my walking or whatever. I can't just like do my workout whenever I want or 
I don't know. I can't just like I'm with Kai full time now during the day. I don't have Quan during the day or the morning to like, you know, help me out with him. Him being on a schedule is so helpful. Like his nap time is around the same time. So good. He wakes up around the same time. We know what we're doing in the morning for like breakfast. It's just it just is so amazing like how the Lord did that for us without even asking like and it's like when i realize like little things like that not saying that oh my gosh like instagram is stopping you from having a schedule for your baby like no that's not what i'm saying but my focus was so much not focusing on like that i'm focusing on like ooh ah like what i want out of life dreams and aspirations and all this stuff um your man dada future husband he's about to like Dada's about to start a new job schedule. Kai's not on the thing. How are you gonna, you want to be on this workout, you have this fitness plan and this workout routine and everything. How are you gonna do that? And you know, so Kai being on a schedule is so helpful. Like, and he's older now. So like before, during his naps, I would have to lay down with him. And now it's like, he's good. Like, night, night, good night. And he loves nap time. I'm like, you ready for a nap? He's like, bye Blippi. Like if he's watching Blippi or he's like, by truck if he's playing with his truck he'll say bye to his toys because he's ready to go take his nap like i love this and i didn't realize like wow like lord i see what you did here like thank you so much i was off instagram for the month of july and i and i actually started it like before july like the end of june like june 27th but i was like i'm gonna just go the whole month so august 1st i didn't get back on until august 1st and even coming back, I, I felt kind of like, and you know, even during, I was like, no one's gonna notice, but like some people noticed that I was gone. Like they, some, I got a few texts um, asking like, hope you're okay. Or when I posted on YouTube, they're like, oh, glad to see you here. Or, you know, they noticed that I wasn't there. And I was like, that's so sweet. Like they were just checking on me, make sure everything's okay. Cause clearly I'm always on Instagram. <laughs> I just like sharing. I just, you know, that's like one of my things. I like doing that like inspiring people so like i like the platform yeah I, I enjoy it and so i know there's a reason why he wanted me on there so also another thing he helped me realize is instagram need more people of the lord like instagram is felt like i said it's like the land of make-believe and like it can get toxic when you're not like focused on the right thing and there's so many people who are just like lost in the sauce and they're so caught up like I don't do this anymore and I used to do it for years, but for the past like two years, year and a half or so, I don't get on Instagram, well probably like the past year, I don't get on Instagram until I've eaten for the day. Sometimes I eat like 12 one. I don't get on Instagram until I've fed myself with proper nutrition. Cause when you're like consuming things, you're consuming them, literally like food. And I'm like, I don't want to consume what other people got going on before I, you know, eat for the day like or say my prayers like i also have a rule i can't do nothing no youtube no TikTok, no nothing until i did my said my praise for the day like these are own little things that i wanted to do to show god like look i'm committed to you and i want to be the best version of myself and the only way i can be the best version of myself is if i'm focused on you so yeah i've been doing that for a while but yeah like i was saying instagram needs a lot more jesus i feel like god is calling me to help build his kingdom like help inspire and not saying i'm going to be posting sermons or anything like that but like i want to inspire people and encourage people like i've realized that like i have a gift and i've never even said this out loud but i feel like i have the gift of encouragement like i love to pour love and excitement and love into people when someone calls me with something like like I'm that person and I'm not like, I'm saying this really humbly. I'm that person that people call when they need like a little pick me up or they're feeling a little discouraged or you know what I mean? I'm that person and I love to be that person. I'm so grateful for that. And I feel like the Lord did that for a reason. He's like, okay, well more than just your family and friends, there's people who you don't even know yet and they need you. And I tell God and ask him every day, like during my prayers, like, please help me like use me for your people like use me in the way that's gonna benefit others like use me lord and so i love that and so i just feel like he needs me on instagram more than just like 
my beauty and fashion because the beauty fashion fitness that's still that's me that's what i'm interested in so of course that's still that but it's going to be like faith filled like i am going to like if i get a revelation or something you know i am going to be spreading the gospel more because these dreams and aspirations that i have these fruits that i'm longing for the lord says and i'll put the verse on the screen i'm not saying it verbatim because <laughs> but he jesus says like people who receive his fruit like the fruit of life you know your different fruits and gifts and everything like those are his disciples and like in order for you to receive fruit you are a disciple and i'm like okay well i guess i gotta be a, a disciple god was a disciple a disciple is someone spreading the gospel sharing the word sharing the good news okay i can do that so that's what i'm doing and it's like he needed me off there so he can let me know and realize like where he wants my instrument to go because I, I said lord i give everything to you like you have full control you have control over my youtube channel and that's another thing why i'm not focusing on the numbers anymore if god wants the video to go viral it's going to go viral if one person sees it it's because he needed that one person to see it and i give him full control over my social medias he knows content creation is something that i desire and something that i wanted to do and there's a reason why he gave me this desire like when i tell you guys everything literally he controls everything like the desires and the ideas on your heart they come from him now where we go wrong is we don't seek him and like allow him to put us where we want so like you want to be a nurse there's a reason why you want to be a nurse but the thing is like we gotta like go to him for everything like what school does he want you to go to which hospital or medical place does he want you to work at like you have to like give him complete control and he'll let you know exactly because you can go to the wrong school the wrong place pick the wrong job with the wrong company yes it's in the field that you want to be in but you can pick the wrong company because you're not seeking him first and so i'm at this point in my life where i need to seek him for everything like it is what it is my like, god i got invited to this place you want me to go please let me know <laughs> like that's what it is and so as far as like the numbers and stuff lord do your thing i first off it causes so much unnecessary stress and like if god doesn't want you doing something or i don't know what i'm trying to say is just seek him because he'll explain to you and let you know what he wants we gotta like do that more often it's just really important too like it's really important yeah i'm just at this point in my life where i want him to control everything i don't want to do anything without him he's helped me realize like i got you another thing that he helped me realize is like y'all if you are a believer in christ and you you know you accept jesus as lord and you just believe you know you believe in the good news that he literally died and three days later rose again you are automatically like his child like he lives inside of you he dwells inside of you his word in his word he tells us that we have authority over satan so any lies and all that stuff you can rebuke it in the name of jesus satan wants you to believe that like what you want in life your goals and everything he wants you to believe that like that's not true his whole point is that he wants us to take our trust out of god he doesn't want us to believe god for the things that he does and the thing is when something good is about to happen you get so much warfare because satan he's in the spiritual world so he can see when something good's about to happen so if you're experiencing spiritual warfare um and if you don't know what that is that's just like constant like back and forth battles you just feel like nothing's going right you just feel like you're in a constant state of like things are going wrong or just just you know i can't explain it just do you know what spiritual warfare is you tend to experience that more when you're close to a breakthrough and close to like god doing something and moving in your life and here's the thing he also he can't hear your thoughts god is omnipresent and omni i can't think of the other word but like only he can be everywhere all at once satan can't that's why he sends his folks to give you you ever tell someone your idea and then like they kind of like burst your bubble or i don't know he just sends his people to give you doubt he doesn't want you to believe in god's promises for you and you know if god ever gave you a dream or you know you just believe that god is like you're just trusting and believing him wholeheartedly for something satan doesn't want you to do that so you have authority over him you can tell him like you're a liar i know what the i know what god has shown me i know what he's told me and i know what's to come because my faith and my trust is in the lord that also he also reminds me so that like you know it's natural to feel like uh like i see this person has this like am i falling behind in life or you know what i mean 
and I used to feel that way, but yeah, guys. So he also reminded me that like, no, I'm in control of your life, not Satan. Satan sees what I'm doing for you and he's pissed. So just ignore him, fight him back, be my word. And like, I've just grown to like love to, to get to know God even more and just read his word. Like I'm constantly in a state of prayer constantly he's literally always like on my mind like i do my day-to-day -day with him like every day every day and i encourage you too because when you have him with you like you can just he just gives you that discernment like he just helps you spot things that you're not really like noticing or paying attention i don't know he is just doing life with him is just so great like i get so happy don't get me wrong, I have my moments where I'm feeling a little spiritual warfare and I'm like, Lord, I'm feeling a little, you know, defeated. Um, but he always gets me right, gets me right together. I'm also gonna do a video on like how I, cause it's been like two years now of me reading my Bible consistently and I just wanna like encourage you guys on how you can do the same. Cause it's so important like it's so important to read god's word it's so important like you're missing out if you're not babes truly literally missing out i'm just really excited about like what he's doing in me not just my life but like in me he's literally transforming me and i'm really really enjoying it and like it's not easy it's not easy i don't know if you heard before but like when god starts to like change you to be the person that he has literally made you to be before you even in your mom's womb it's a lot you literally gotta like say goodbye to the old me I'm in alone. because when christ died we died with him we're new when you have said to jesus christ in your life and i want him to like be your savior and really believe it and like let him be lord we died with him old self it's gone so it's a lot like <sighs> y'all I was taking my braids and I was watching Love Island just binging the new season, the USA one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like juicy. And like, I just already immediately, I just already knew like, girl, turn this off. You're not supposed to be watching this. And I'm like, but Lord, I just, I've literally watched like every season out of all of the uh, franchise, like the whole, all the different countries, <laughs> US, UK, Australia, I mean, those are only three. I know there's other ones, but those those are the only three that I've <laughs> watched. But so many seasons, and you know there's so many episodes per season. So like, I'm like, I've watched this so many times. But he's like, no, I don't want you watching it. So there's that. And then the episode that I ended on, it was about to get so like, oh. And he's like, well, <laughs> there's that. And I'm like, oh my Atlanta, fine, fine. But that's the thing you gotta you say yes to god you say yes he tells you you better listen to him boo don't be blocking your blessings trying to fit with worldly desires and your flesh you got to say no to your flesh sometimes you got to tell your flesh listen sit down like no and i'll be telling god i'm like god i'm weak without you i'm literally weak without you he just like when you accept him like the convention the convictions be coming but it's all so good like it literally took me like two days to get over it i was like kind of like mad i was being a brat i'm like lord like i want to watch the show but that's just not what he wanted and i'd rather obey him than watch the show miss out on a blessing like <laughs> and like obedience you literally he's so it may seem hard and like literally like the lord tells us like the highway to hell is very wide and open easy to walk through but the gateway to life, the road to life is very narrow and it's hard. The Lord knows it's hard because he knows his children. We're literally like, sin is our nature. That's just what it is. Thanks to our great, 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 great grandparents, Adam and Eve. <laughs> but um, that's just who we are. So he like, he knows it's not easy for us, but that's why we have him. He makes it, he helps us in the times. That's why we're not meant to do this life alone. We're literally not meant to do life alone. We're not. Like, that's just what it is. And life is so much harder without him. And even with him, like I said, you go through things. Like, when you are a follower of Christ, like, the devil tempts you even more. Like, he be working hard. Long hours. For no reason, because he's already lost. But, like, don't give in, guys. You have to really just say no to your flesh. You have to say no. Like, the Lord said no. And, like, you'll know if you're convicted of something. You'll just get this gut feeling. Like, you'll just feel like, oh, this feels... You just know. 
If you got to question it, Lord, he can confirm. Like, I'm telling you, you have to speak to him through everything. And, like, all day long, I'm talking to him in the secret place. So, remember when I said, like, Satan can't hear your thoughts. And a lot of times when we speak out loud and we're, like, telling someone our idea or something like that, like, Satan takes, his, takes that and, like, uses it to manipulate us or to cause doubt or just, like, the secret place is your mind. The Lord, he hears your every thought. He knows what you're about to say before you even say it. Like, the way I'm speaking to you and you can hear me audibly, that's how he hears your thoughts. Talk to him. Pray to him in your thoughts inside in the secret place. And, like, he'll answer you. He'll let you know. But I just wanted to close out today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you are inspired by my testimony, my story, and what God did for me and how... Sometimes we need to just take a break from social media or we just need to really pay attention and make sure we're not idolizing anything outside of the Lord. And remember, if there's something that you want, something that you're praying for, just take it to God and just have faith and believe that he's going to bring you to where you desire or better because that's just what he does. I love you. I hope you like this video. Thumbs it up if you do. Make sure you're subscribing because... I just truly believe that God just has his whole hands over this thing. And I want my platform to be a platform where it's a safe space. You can come, you can talk to me, literally DM me, like whatever. And just know that like I'm praying for you and that I'm not doing anything that is not of God. Like I have to bring everything to him. You guys are important to me and I feel like it's my assignment to just be the best that way someone else is inspired to be like i want to go all for jesus and at the end of the day that's the goal so i love you and i will see you soon in my next video like comment subscribe do all the things follow me on instagram and tiktok i love you so much thank you for being here i just can't thank you enough okay love you